Hello and welcome along to the Racers TV. Uh, it's the last day of the You Bet Autumn Carnival of Racing on Saturday with the running of the Group 1 Darley Goodwood worth half a million dollars. We're going to have a chat to uh, the South Australians competing in the big race on Saturday. Dominic Tourneur will ride the favourite in the Darley Goodwood on Saturday. Hucklebuck for Philip Stokes. Dommy's coming off a terrific spring, unbeaten, culminating in his Group 1 success at Flemington. Yeah, no, look, it's exciting to have him back on Saturday. Um, had a couple of trials going into Saturday, so no, he's looking well and fit, and um, we're pretty keen on him. Can you just take us through his last trial at Gawler? Yeah, look, he, um, he was actually quite um, feeling quite well that day. Got out. Just relaxed him behind him, but coming to the corner, they were probably going. They probably weren't going that slow, but he was just going that good that he just took his way to the front, and I, I was pretty soft on him to the end. So the barrier draw on Saturday, barrier three. What were you hoping for? Oh, look, you couldn't ask for a better marble. I mean, basically, the, um, you know, the inside's the shortest way home, but it's all depending on how the track's going to play Saturday. I mean, you know, they have been getting out wide and sweeping, so um, we may have to extricate him off the fence at some stage if that's where we're going to be, but. Um, Look, it's, you know, you'd rather draw inside than 17. Good luck, Dom. Thank you. Well, Ryan Balfour saddles up, lighted up in the Goodwood on Saturday. Yeah, Ryan, this is his big test. Yeah, we set him for this a long time ago, and we know it's a uh, big ask and, and whatnot, but he's got a great record at the track and distance. He was unlucky last start. His only blemish this prep has been at the 1400 on the parks, where he hasn't got a good record. And uh, with Barrier 2, we, uh, we're going to take our chances and have a throw at the stumps. All right. Um, he might even be a better horse 12 months away. Would you be happy for me to say that? Would you agree with that? Yeah, don't disagree with that at all. He's still a progressive type. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'd like to get him over to Melbourne and try the up the straight 1,200, and we consider that with a straight six on next week. But uh, with a good barrier this week, um, we, we're just going to have a crack at it. Um, and if there's a bit of rain about it, it could even bring him more into it. Claire Lindop rides Daytona Grey on Saturday in the Darley Goodwood. Claire, we saw him so dominant winning the Irwin Stakes two starts ago. That was on a wet track. Does he need those conditions to be any chance on Saturday? Look, I think he does love a wet track and relish a wet track, but whether he actually needs it that soft, I'm hoping he can still run well on a dead, dead track. Possibly against the top class horses, when it's a softer track, he really you know, does help him uh, beat some of the better, better line horses. But the way his work's been, and even his last start, you know, had to go back from a wide alley and cut a bit of ground on the turn, I actually thought his run was super as well. He's actually looking for 1,200 now, so I really hope he's going to uh, run well on Saturday. And for the boss, uh, Leon McDonald, doing a tough hip operation on Monday. In fact, a new hip put in, so uh, it'll certainly be a nice pick-me-up for Leon. Well, tell me he's moving better, so we might see him dancing back at the track soon. Well, Ken Sweeney's got Rizzies in the Goodwood on Saturday. Ken, he's been a terrific horse for the stable, hasn't he? Oh, yes, he's a very honest horse. And uh, he's had a couple of cracks at this and hasn't been that far away. Is this his third run in a Goodwood? Yep. What's been his best effort today? Third last year. All right. Um, barrier nine, I reckon you'd be happy enough with that. Yeah, perfect for him. He can follow him up. And, you know, he sits off the pace anyway. Um, you'd obviously love to win a race like this with him, Ken, but uh, regardless of what happens with this bloke for the rest of his career, he's obviously going to be one of the stable favourites for a long time. Oh, he is. He's the best one I've had in the last few years, you know. And what sort of a horse is he, Ken? Oh, he's lovely horse to do anything with. He's very laid back, mate. He's... Uh, just goes and does his job, travels wherever he's got to travel. Total professional. Yes. Just like his trainer. <laughs> Thank you. OK, finally, here is the line-up for the Darley Goodwood on Saturday. It'll be race number seven at 3.48. At the top of the weights there, Hucklebuck, Lucky Hustler and Smokin' Joey, all Group 1 winners. Terrific line-up of sprinters. Should be another great day at Morfordville on Saturday. There's nothing like a day at the races.